Vike can console with this. Thank you very, very much for that, Lizard. By the way, I do have some insider info as well, which, mm -hmm. which I will share. Neff has advised me that Coach Astini, apparently his prep for Moore. this matchup, in fact, Moo, is going to go down. Very nice pick up there from Hidden Mune. First blood to go the way it felt. So happy days for them already. Apparently, the match prep was Coach putting in uh, food photos. And not going to be able to take any runes. The haste room was picked up by Solji on the bottom lane. And yeah, it was for the, uh, the siege creep. They do pop the exo here mid lane. A big group up here from the side of felt. You love to see this. Trying to find a very early mid tier one tower. Bottom lane Lycan is dying actually. Fade, he's gonna drop. Mm -hmm. Another great kill for Yamsun, but top I think he's well. gotta try and address the mid as top lane. They I lose hidden immune. Okay, maybe you don't have to address the mid lane. Is every if everyone else is just dying <laughs> across the map? Action everywhere. <laughs> You're like, they actually want to defend this. No night time though. It's a rough defense. Moo's going to show up. You have got Black Hole. He'll commit it immediately. No hesitation. And this goes back to the free game he has. Kits, though, he's still going to fight back. He gets the siphons off, but it's not enough. He's down. Maybe they can at least trade Moo's life away, and yeah, they will can. find him. Yamsun sticking around here with a Dark Ascension, giving the vision to his team, but he can't really reinitiate. He's too low, or maybe he can. He'll try onto Albino Zebra. Meanwhile, Husky does go down, and now a nice arrow. Solji. Landing onto the Night Stalker. They will still find the tier one tower here on the side of Felt. And I think overall you call that a win. Oh yeah, with all of this craziness. Immune. That's mine, thank you very much. He's got region as well, so. Oh, of course he does. He's gonna go run back in with the Disruptor. Oh, it's so unexpected. Hit him, you would not expect this to happen. Jump in with the Static Storm. That is unfortunate for the SF, but he's man fighting. He's trying to fight back, but he still will go down. Like Lelis will take the kill. They would at least find a stun with the Disruptor. So they do take Lilith down. Gonna try to make his own way out. Meanwhile, top lane moves going down the, on the Enigma. And he will drop. As the chase is still ongoing for Gunner. But the stun will not connect. Gunner has no remnants. This is a very awkward scenario. Like you don't see it. Because they don't hit when the sword falls. They hit as the sword is going up or exactly, something. Exactly, yeah. That's what it is. Kids. Exo is going to be popped or gone after this tier 3 tower. Not going to be the easiest defense, but Moo moves in. He found the two primary targets. They stood right next to each other. Hidden Mute. Satanic. He's going to try and man up. Yamsun, he's forced to back out of there. The Satanic's too much, but Gunner, he'll man up instead. He's the Giga Chat of the team. He'll move right in onto the SF. All right. Ember I know survives. You, I know you said it's a free Enigma game. I didn't realize it was that free. I mean, it shouldn't be that free. <laughs> <laughs> they get it kind of for free. And they force a couple of BKBs away from Nouns. So. Nicely done. Nouns grouping up. Ascension has been popped. Immediately onto Albino Zebra goes Yamsun. Trying to burst down the Undying before the Tombstone can come out. And he does. In fact, Kit's now in massive trouble. And this is the team holding the Aegis right now, but they get caught with their pants down in the mid-river. Yeah, I'm not sure what the plan was. He just pops Exo and look at Fade now. Yeah, Fade. Nice little Wild Wing Ripper push away, but it's not going to make the difference. He will drop Husky with a double kill. They kind of did exactly the same thing that now has got punished <laughs> for. <laughs> oh. Black Hole, if he doesn't pop BKB as well. Oh, days. Oh, see. that's a big one. Hit immune. Gonna be spotted, Yamsung gonna move in. Not too much damage, but now with the glimpse back in the Static Storm, they'll lock him down, still he pops the BKB, but now the Black Hole. Moose just gonna lock him down on his own. The Wind Waker, it's gonna buy some time. No He'll refresh, but Moose got no mana. Oh boy. He messed up. He did mess up, Felt. They can move in. Lelis will go down with him. That's all they needed. They needed a mistake from Mu. At least they do have a Black, a black Hole still on the Radiant side. So Range, no problems either. There you go. That'll be enough for Feld, it seems. Well, they have to be careful how they go back. Glimpses. Is there. Fade. Does get caught. Yamsun looking to try and move in, but gets hexed immediately. Wind Waker. Again, coming out from Solji. Really doing so much work as they landed an arrow. Yamsun's down. No buyback available for him. It's all up to Gunner now. He'll try his best on the Ember. Right back into the loving arms of Hit Immune, though. He's also going to drop. No buyback available. What was supposed to be only one side, because of that glimpse, might become a game even. All right, Husky, this is your moment. We saw Whitemon last game. It's your turn to be the carry, sir. 
Let's see what he can do. I mean, they're just taking the mid racks in the meantime. Yeah, Savage is going hard. Husky's still trying to just find out Bino Zebra, but he's going to drop to the Soul Rip. <laughs> there goes Lelis. And it seems like Philip, they may have done it here for game number one of this best of three. Like, there's still no buybacks. It's just such a hard D. They've got the Night Stalker. He still gets out. Black Hole is there. Moo, he's got the SF. Gunner, he'll try to get the damage in. The Wind Waker, it was not there in time. But where's your secondary Black Hole? No mana, Moo, he needs to back off. He's got no mana. Gunner's been left alone. He'll try to remnant away. Chains out. Back on a Solji. They'll find the Marana, but they've lost the Ember. Oh, it's not a good fight at all for Nouns. The mana issues. Don't know he's in again. He gets a three-man Black Hole. Can he get it done though? Yams are trying, but the Satanic. Oh, it's too much. GG is GG's cold. GG is cold. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Felt have shown up today. And you know what, Lizard? This is why you don't build enchanter shards. I told you this, these little friends, they aren't really your friends, right? I mean, it's not a Husky's fault. Obviously, I'm having a bit of a meme here. Of this course, of course. Forced to make some yeah, awkward movements to try and secure some creeps. Yeah, but if Tusk just TPs, like. Okay, Husky actually TPs instead. Yeah, it looks like they might have Albino in their hands now as Albino. He has a decay in one, but he's going to do enough. It's a triple one, but it still won't be enough. No. First blood to go the way of Moo. Yeah. These creep shenanigans. Well, in the end, they're just going to give more gold back the way of now. It's now Kits. Mid lane trying to get a little bit aggressive there. Stampede has been popped. Arrow not going to connect, but they have the Requiem. It's still not enough. They weren't willing to pop the raw. So Fade gets away scot-free. It's about top. Meanwhile, top lane, they have found the TA, the Mystic Flare finally being put to use, but it's still not doing enough. Yamsun finally goes down. Husky will join, though, with Gunner. They should at least have Soldier's Life as old well. Gunner. That is very cheeky, Gunner. They get both, actually. He was running right towards Soji and just changes his mind and goes right back Dire towards jungle. the Ember. Meanwhile, Dire Jungle. Moo, trying to fight. Does roar up Albino. He'll take down one. Does he actually get out of this? Actually, it looks like he will. Has a TP to use. Oh, and he's, he's all out. right. Yeah. I can't believe it. Heroes are just getting tankier. It's because of the BKBs as well. Yeah. High right, ground wards placed here now. They'd love to fight around this fate. He's going to try and jump in. Mystic Flare pop, but a nice four staff away. Going to ensure there's no real damage coming in. It's hidden immune now. Going to get punched by Gunner. Gunner will be fine to walk away. In the meantime, Albino Zebra did go down as they are going to make the chase on to Kids, who does run back the other way. He'll be okay for now. But now they are still picking them off one oh, by one. Roll. What an arrow from Husky. He found hidden immune on the SF. And now the stolen Requiem from Lela's going to lock down Kits. Straight into the pit. There we go. Now this is so much more clean compared yeah. to game. Not as relevant. And now you're playing versus a TA with an Aegis. So the game became pretty rough for Felt. Yeah, you're kind of lacking some answers now. Stun is there, Fade. He's going to try to move. Mystic Flare, that'll get it done. Felt they find themselves a nice consolation prize. Nouns just not ready for that one, apparently, as Moo will go down. And now Albino Zebra, though, will also drop. Classic Zoo meta. Just died to creeps. That's fight, and now the turnaround. Nouns, they might find an SF for their trouble. Rush in. They won't see Hit Immune yet. Instead, they found Albino Zebra, but he gets the Tombstone down. Snowball is there to save from Gunner. Back in onto Fate, they go. They're very out of position right now. Maybe Thought can finally punish the side of Nouns, but no, never mind. Yamsun, he'll just turn right back around. No Requiem to come out. Felt, they are melting, but hold on a minute. Fade lands a double stun. It's just not going to make the difference. Yeah, don't need to hold on a minute. Gunner's alive. Blinks right back out. It's a wipe right there. Only the centaur surviving with the greaves. With sorry, with the crimson. But uh, they just go high ground. Why I'm not? Stick around. See if they can snipe some. Oh, hidden immune. He's okay. He'll back off to the high ground. Bot lane. They'll stare at kits as well. Not the easiest target if you don't have more around with the roar. Yeah, for him you need the roar or some random arrow to connect. Mid lane gunner. For, for yeah. He's for all this. right. For the Sky Rats, you don't really need a lot. You just need to look at him in a bad way and he's gonna fall. A gust of wind will do it. A gust of wind, exactly. 
And Phil, I mean, it, they are really struggling for an answer. Gun is just going to jump in, put Albino Zebra out of his misery. Dyer's top barracks are under yeah. attack. Methodical approach to this high ground push. This gets one pick off after another. Reese, uh, Tombstone, so they're unapproachable. But they're moving back. Okay. Let's see. They get some wards down. They, they need to find underneath their own vision. Roshan. Yeah, they're just setting up the vision around Rosh. He's up at 30. Here comes the smoke. Roar is out. Oh, they found hit immune. Oh, damn. What's he doing there? I, I think he was trying to push the wave out, not realizing Nouns was there. Fade. They're still going to try and move in onto Gunner, but they haven't got the lockdown for him right now. Gunner just casually walking away. Your base, though. <laughs> Your base is dying. Like you can continue chasing Gunner, I suppose, but you could also defend the high ground. I mean, it's in that that lead is kind of rough to beat. Yeah. And Gunner's got the full ags up now as well, so you've got the kick back and... Okay, someone is getting kicked out of their base. <laughs> Someone's getting kicked out of this game. You have some? Oh, that's a quick silence onto the Centaur fade. He might be going right back to the graveyard and he will be. He's down. Requiem was used up, but it hits nothing. BKBs were popped. Kick is there. Roar is out. That's got to be it. Hidden Mune is down. That's buyback, but... The question is, what can he do with it? Yeah, he just calls GG. Yeah, There's just, just no point using it. Yeah, they still get, have game three to play, right? So uh, they won the first one, the second one. The draft, I mean, it looked all right. And honestly, I'm just interested in what could have or would have happened if this... That's fair. They want the tiebreaker, tiebreakers. I give... Give props to the boys as well, right? Like on the side of field, as the weeks have gone by here in two or two, you've got to admit they have looked more and They're more like tiny. a div two as they are moving in. Oh, excuse me, a div one team as Lillis is getting jumped right now and he is gone. First blood to go the way of Solji. And I don't know what it is about these Moranas in this series, uh, Lizard. I mean, these Moranas are just always popping off, apparently. Yeah, whoever. I mean, Omni likes the extra debuffs, you know. Throw as much as you want onto my, uh, my profit. Hit immune. They're bringing more bodies up, Kits and Solji. Bottom lane, Lulis as well. Top lane. Oh, they're going to move on to Mu. Mm -hmm. Husky not around to try and save. We'll back his way up, but Solji is going to go for a bit of a chase. They yeah. do have the vision on the high ground, so they will see exactly where Husky's going. In fact, he'll run into even more vision now. Trying to tank up with that Heavenly Grace. Solji is holding on to the arrow, looking for that perfect moment to throw it out. Husky, I mean, eventually he's just going to die anyway. No problems. I just ran him down. Meanwhile, Ricky, even with the haste, didn't even think about connecting top. He's just using that mid-tier hammer to take down the mid-tier one. CK in the meantime, like, mm -hmm. basically free farming. He's gonna... Actually gonna land the stun. Smokescreen is there as well. Miss, will miss out on the invis, but is going back after the Marana as he will just leap away, but Gunner is still chasing him down. Eventually, Solji does get to the high ground. In the meantime, Husky... Does get caught. Gunner does kill off Solji. So all leap charges were expended. Husky is still alive here on the Omni Knight as they will finally lock him down. But in comes Gunner. Can he get kids? Very unlikely, right? Uh, it's a huge kill if he can, but the swash is there. TP away, nothing to cancel. More damage being dealt to the T1. Bottom lane looks like there may be a bit of action to break out as Fade. Will be spotted here by the plasma field of Yamsun, forcing the Ravage out. Oh, damn. TPs well, are incoming, or rather rotations are incoming here against Yamsun. Kits is here, but a nice avalanche. Lelis landing perfectly, and Kits is gone. Bit of charity here for Yamsun. He'll happily take it. Yeah, they rotated a lot of heroes, both of sides. And also attacked by the Tide Hunter, by the Ricky with the Meteor Hammer, so. But because Tai TP top, maybe this is a chance for Nouns to fight bottom, actually. Oh, no. Hammer on two. Oh, he jukes this time. I mean, that's quick. I believe he was just farming the wave. It doesn't really matter anyway, because the silence was there. Still, they do find Mu on the Prophet. So a great trade here for Hidden Mune. A yeah, nice ice bat. But they're going to continue. Hidden Mune. Maybe man's up here against Husky, but he's a tanky, tanky support. So he's going to try for the TP play out, and he might just make it. Nice ice path just to ensure it. Can we uh, get the Omni? No. Solji? Cannot. Yeah, Solji tried to go for him. Tried to go for uh, Husky's Omni Knight. Didn't manage to. Ice Path is doing a ton of work, by the way. Level 4 Ice Path. So much control coming from Felt. Yeah. 
you need a couple of these what are they called like these very th these very famous items that make you magic immune and you glow Sickness. in a yellow light I, i've never heard of it never heard of it yeah it's some some king bar something i don't know okay the some bar fade well they've already found husky they believe they do have ravage available here they do pop it Gunner has been caught. Media Hammer is flying in, and even the Rolling Thunder from the low ground. Is he gonna still run? the blink away? No. Not quite. Oh, how, did that, yeah. how did that Rolling Thunder even connect? I don't even know. <laughs> Nicely done by Kits. I was thinking maybe Ricky survives. Like Kits is going to try and rotate here on the Pango. Does that have a haze strewn? We'll go for the perch back in onto the Ricky. Rolling Thunder, Arrow, everything connecting. But can they actually finish the jump? Because Gunner's just casually walking out of there right now. Ice Path is there. He blink strikes right into the Jakiro, but he will go down. Yamsun has shown up, and so is the rest of Nouns now. Kits eventually will drop, so a one for one trade in the mid laners. Hit him, you now the next target of Yamsun, and he has popped the BKB, but diving that T2 tower is going to be a little bit rough, I think, for Nouns. Yeah, his BKB is gone. There's Ravage now. Oh, Hit Immune still trying. Ravage is a big Ravage being thrown out by Fader set up and now the Meteor Hammer it is eventually gonna land thanks to the setup of Hidden Immune and suddenly Yamsun has given his life away to the side of Felt as they will even find Husky. All right Yamsun that was a little bit deep right? Like it he, was. He pops that VKB he gets. And smoke up they want to try and surprise with this blink I think. Yamsun no shows. Ravage though right? No Ravage. No Moonlight Shadow, no Ravage, no CK Ulti. But they do have Rolling Thunder at least, so they can use that. Oh boy, they found Gunner. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. Can they turn? Now they're still going to try and fight. Static Link out. The Pango stuck. Kits, he'll eventually go to the low ground, but he's down. Moo picks him off. Hidden Mune. Oh, he hasn't got BKB for another second. Scott he'll it pop off. it eventually, but it feels like anyone's game here in this game number three. Uh, yeah, there's definitely no clear kind of victor in these fights as Fade. Fade. Avalanche is out. Toss is up. Fade, he's still a very tanky boy, but the damage is incoming as the BKB is there in time. Moonlight Shadow, is it going to save? No. Plasma Field will get it done. No, Yamsen has no BKB. Has oh, that Aegis to work with, but needs to be, be careful. A big trade. Ice Path not going to land. Lela's coming in. Avalanche toss onto both supports. No turning, even for the ages. Very nicely done by Lelis and Jamson. I expected more. This is without Kits for another eight. Keep in mind, Kits just bought an Aghanim Scepter, so he does have a bit of a surprise reveal incoming. Problem is, they do break the smoke already, so Moonlight Shadow going to be popped. Gunner was underneath the sentry, but managed to get out of range. Now in they go. They found the Omni. Ravage is out. It's a huge Ravage coming in. From Fade, Yamsun, he still gets his BKB off in time. He doesn't have an Aegis, but he's going to go for the TP play out. Do they have it? Oh, they don't. He barely survives. Lelis will go down instead, and so will Husky. Damn, if you're announced, you should be happy with this, because uh, that Ravage was perfect. Every Ravage Fade's pulling off here is perfect. It yeah. just, there's it's, just not enough follow-up. Yeah, it was so damn good. The only two that they got were uh, the supports, but still... Can they turn anything out of this? That's the only question. Well, that's a huge kill. Yeah. They found the mid Ricky. Mm -hmm. 14 to 18. What's well, a very good idea that this is happening? In fact, a lot of vision around this area for the dire side. Nouns will put down some of their own. Oh, he oh, goes in. in. Avalanche toss. That's the big one. They've got the tide. Ravage still down for 20 seconds. Still the four staff away. He's going to allow him to get out as Lelis. He will be the first one to go down. Wrath of Nature did root up the tide, but he is still fine to move back in with the tendrils of the deep. It's Husky, now targeted, will be rifted back the way of Hidden Mune. They'll find the Omni as well. Yeah, that's so sad for Nouns. Like, uh, you're the ones that are initiating. Moo as well. That's a big one. Moo's been very quiet, just split pushing the lanes, but now he's been caught out. He's gone. A triple kill for the Chaos Knight. And now it starts to feel like Felt are definitely in the lead of this game. Yeah, it's going to be better. He also has a... Moo is thinking about TPing to make sure they cannot connect. He'll move in. Dust is out. Albino Zebra will be spotted. 
Four staff away, but in goes Fade. He lands a stun, but the Ice Path not going to land. No, the arrow. Oh, it's still not enough. Yeah, Yamsun. Yamsun, it was too short, but he's still running and it is going to go down. Yeah, he still didn't have uh, the BKB to work with, right? Oh. Like, it was still on cooldown. Oh, man, this, this is Fade's game right here. Fade is doing it. Yeah, it's a bit of Fade's game, a, a quite a lot of CK game as well. He's, he's got 25, 26 net worth. Another stun out from Fade, another setup. Move forced to BKB. Gonna be forced to man fight, in fact. Kits is there to back him up. Bashir is there as well. Seems like they will at least find the Mirana. Move. Hold on a minute with Gunner. He's actually fighting back. Kits is gone. Mu is still alive. Finally gets taken down. Gunner. And now Gunner. Gone. Sleeping Tart. There's a gem on Tide, right? So it's very difficult for the Ricky to just run away. Oh, Media Hammer juked out. Still, the CK is right there. They'll have another stun very, very soon with the Tendrils. Gunner is eventually going to go down. It's still a win for Felt. Yeah. All things said and done. What looked like it could be pretty damn Fade! Weird. They're going to smoke up. They're going to try and blow somebody off with this. There are, besides the Omni Knight, no huge saves on the side of now, so you can jump in, uh -huh. catch him plus one. Here we go. Phantasm popped. They know Gunners around there somewhere. Ravage Fade, he got him. Oh, they found the Ricky. He did it blind. The toss back is there. Fade still four staffing out. He'll be just fine as Hidden Mune finds another. Lelis is down. Where did they go? They just disappear. Nice arrow. Move. Brought back in. Hit immune. We'll take him out. An ultra kill for the CK. No Damn. rampage. They're taking this very seriously. One last uh, thing to do before he's ravage and all the setups is insane. There's 200 pure damage per second from that macro pile. Now, for a total of 25 seconds. That's Yamsa. a lot of damage. Moves in. They're under the CK. Hit immune's just fine though. In fact, Lelis, he's the one to go down. That's one down already. Now, they haven't got the buyback on this Tiny. They're still trying onto the CK. They might at least find the Aegis and they will. But Kit is still going onto Yamson. Yamson is in the middle of nowhere. He is gone. Is there are no work? buybacks left. This has got to be it. Felt have done it. GG is called. Felt? Felt. They have done a 2-1 victory against Nouns. Where? Where was this before? I don't know, but I'll tell you what, they look like a real Division 1 team in this series. They definitely did look, and because of this, they stay in Division 1 as well, right? They may...